What's up everybody? My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. I apologize there has not been an episode in a few weeks. I actually had three episodes recorded and somehow the files got corrupted and couldn't use any of them so I got demotivated there for a little bit. So I'm going to go back and do some of the ones that I did. We're going to try it again today and in today's video we are doing a two bottle for the first time special. We're doing both Calumet 15 and 16. So, to be fair, now you know I have had these bottles prior to this. I filmed this video the exact same way the last time where I did them head to head. So I have a pretty good idea of what they should be like. But just to do a quick rundown of these two bottles, both pretty expensive bottles. This one, the 15 coming in at about 130 when I bought it. The 16 coming in at about 160. So the 15 year Calumet Farms, the Whirl Away coming in at 105 proof, a batch size of 19 barrels. The 16 year, which is the Citation, coming in at 106 proof, also a batch size of 19 barrels. I'm not going to go through and read everything on these bottles about them, but they have a very high reputation out there in the whiskey, in the bourbon world. So I'm going to try them again today. Maybe I'll have a different opinion than I had the first time I filmed this video. We're going to put them head to head. We're going to rank them on the tier system. If you haven't seen my videos before, we rank all the whiskeys on a tier system. And you can see that at the end of this video. So Calumet Farms 15 and 16. Let's go. All right, so we're going to start with the 15 year. Kind of a weak bottle pop, but it's already been popped, so. 15 year. All right, so color, a little bit more yellowish orange on the color here on the 15 year. If we put the bottles next to each other, they're pretty much the same color. One's a year older, maybe slightly more mahogany on the 16 year looking at the bottles, but overall pretty similar. So let's get into the nose here on the 15 year. Just cherry. Just so much cherry coming out of the 15 year, which is what I remember from when I had it the first time. You got cherry and vanilla. Just like a, almost like a, like a, a Luden's cherry like the, uh, the cough drop medicines, but the ones that actually taste pretty good, almost like those. A little bit of smokiness on there, on the back end. And maybe just a hint of orange peel as well, but overall, overwhelmingly, cherry, vanilla, a little bit of smokiness, maybe some orange peel on the back end. So for the 15 year, let's go ahead and drink it and see what it tastes like. Woo! Yeah, that is cherry. If you like cherry, Calumet Farms 15 year. Holy cherry bomb. Such strong cherry, a little bit of oakiness in there here on the 15, but really, really strong cherry. It goes away rather quickly, which is surprising. Coming in at 105 proof. Man, that is so much cherry. It's like a real sweet, kind of a young cherry up front. Almost like it is like one of those cherry candies with how much sweetness is on there. Gets into a little bit of woodiness behind that. Maybe just a tad, tad small bit of bitterness on the end too here on the 15 year. So 15 year Calumet is just a cherry explosion in a bottle, just depending on how the cherry is. Maybe it's not quite ripe cherry, so it's not like a super dark and juicy cherry. It's more of a younger, uh, sweeter, firmer cherry almost with a couple of accent notes in there. But let's go ahead and try it against the 16 year. It's older brother. One year older than the 15 year, obviously, here on this Calumet Farms, the Citation. This is one of my older bourbons that I have up on the wall. Is it the oldest that I have? It may be. This may be my oldest one that I own, the Citation Calumet Farms 16 year old. 
Yeah, you can get a little bit more darkness on this one than I got out of the 15 year old, but overall still that just a little bit more mahogany, but still a yellowy orangey mahogany uh, color on there. And such a different nose. It's amazing. I remember this from the first time I filmed this video too. The nose between these two bottles is night and day different. And the 16 year, in my opinion, is way better. In the 16 year, you get that nice sweet oak is the first thing that really, that really pops and stands out in my mind. You get down into, there's definitely a fruitiness in there. I'm trying to pick out exactly what the fruit is, but it's almost like a, a creamy fruit smell. I think it's more of a tangerine. Definitely some smokiness in there. apple there's stuff there's some apple in here so maybe some tangerine some apple overwhelmingly the sweet oak a little bit of smokiness so overall the nose on the 16 year compared to the 15 year is much more um, complicated a lot more going on here on the 16 year so that's why i like the nose a lot better here but that sweet oak just bursts out if it tastes at all on the palate with that sweet oak like it does on the nose, which from what I remember it does, but we're gonna try it again here. It's gonna be one hell of a bourbon. So let's try it. Calumet Farm 16 year. That's, it's just good. Sweet, creamy oak. It's, a, it's weird, it's a, a sweet oak with creamy vanilla cream flowing through it. If you somehow mashed those up and made it sound not disgusting and really, really good, that's exactly the first things that you're going to get on your palate here. At least that's what I'm getting right out of the box. Mm. You get just a little bit of spice in there, a little bit of, I don't think this is rye at all. I'm not sure if they have the mash bill on here. No. I don't believe there's any rye in that, but the mash bill is not on there. So maybe not a rye space, maybe more of a I think it actually may just be some barrel char. I'm trying to pick out what this spicy, smoky flavor is that I'm getting, but I think it maybe is just from being in that barrel a bit longer. So you have the sweet oakiness up front, and then as it gets towards the back, you get some of that barrel char taste in there, some of that maybe deeper wood oakiness that infuses into the whiskey. Oh, that's really good though. Just creamy, just a little bit of burn going down the throat, not too bad. It lingers in your mouth with a nice creamy vanilla cream sweet oak. And that is just the overwhelming flavor and that's really, really good. That is really good. So, overall, I think it's pretty obvious which of these two bottles I like better. I definitely like the 16 year better than the 15. Let's compare the noses. Yeah, they're not even close on the nose. Let's do one last palette comparison here, 15 year. cherry <laughs> just a whole lot of cherry 16 year good yeah so definitely out of the two bottles i like the 16 year a lot more and that's not just because it's the older age statement if you have these bottles next to each other and you try them they are night and day you can tell that it's they're like similar and what they were you know made from but i don't know if it's that extra year or maybe they did something a little bit different on the 16 uh, year bottles in the uh, mash bill or whatever but it's just night and day difference on the nose and the taste. So where are they gonna go on the tier list for the Calumet Farms 15 year? By the way, I forgot to mention almost, these bottles are gorgeous. These look like premium, expensive bourbon bottles that you wanna have and show off to your friends and be like, look at this. It's got the gold lettering with the black backdrop and the picture on there with the horse in the background and the fancy, hmm, it's just, a beautiful beautiful bottle i love having these up on my shelf just to have here to see and when friends come over they see and this is generally one of the ones that they look at right away 
maybe because there's two of them so they stand out a little bit more up here compared to everything else but overall the bottle looks really good but anyways on the tier list where are they going to go well i think for the calumet farms 15 year i'm going to put this on the b tier we're going to put that one on the b tier and for the 16 year we're going to put this one somewhere towards the top of the a tier this one's really really good i like them both if you love cherry then maybe the 15 year if you like more of that sweet oak and creaminess and vanilla -y flavors in there maybe go with the 16 you know what we should do how much of these do we have in here and they're pretty close maybe we should just do a quick little blendy blend here before we end this video so 15 year on the b tier 16 year on the a tier i don't think either of them are going to go on the s tier but if we blend them together is that going to do anything different now i realize this was a very quick blend and this is not how you're really supposed to do it but let's see if it makes any difference just doing it quickly so i think the 16 years definitely dominating but the cherry comes through there <coughs> might have to try that again for some reason that drank a lot hotter m blended together i'll tell you what blended together that's really good you might want to try that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit like and subscribe i'll try to crank up the videos again i'm sorry it's been a while since they came out i just got real demotivated after i lost so much time recording and files and data and all that but anyways calumet farms 15 to 16 year in the books thank you guys for being here i'll see you in the next one